Tom Cruise is a difficult one, isn't he? So there was the David Beckham documentary that's just come out. So a lot of news is coming out. A lot of old things are coming up and people are starting to realise and, and talk about things. Uh, several sources are now talking about the Beckhams and the Cruises because I don't know if many of you saw the Netflix David Beckham documentary, but there's this whole bit where Bex, as we call him in the UK, goes over to America. He joins the LA Galaxy or whatever, one how one pronounces it. Um, LA Galaxy, of course. Um, and he gets there and it's actually mad. Tom Cruise does his whole larger than life Tom Cruise routine, uh, which is clearly just a, a whole Scientology thing, especially now with some of the quotes coming out from sources and friends close to both the Beckhams and the Cruises, which seem to confirm that Cruise was indeed trying to get David and Victoria Beckham into Scientology and it didn't work. And so, man, it's... So I'm just looking at some of the comments. Yeah, I was just in Aaron's live stream, and now I'm here. I don't have to physically move over to Aaron's live stream. I can just, I can do it from my, I, I do it all from this room. So I haven't actually moved at all. I'm in the same place. But uh, yeah, no, really interesting. And here are the quotes I'm getting from sources of, uh, where is it? Let me, let me find. It always takes a while to find these things because I open them up and then, right, here we go. So it turns out that what was an issue was the pressure to join Scientology. This is a friend of David Beckham's has revealed, and this is in several reputable magazines and publications and things. Apparently, Tom Cruise wouldn't take no for an answer. As a result, the athlete and fashion designer, that's Beckham, not Tom Cruise, they uh, felt that they had no choice but pull, to pull away. Uh, the Cruise Insider, though, there's a Cruise source as well, says it's clear Tom was hurt by the rejection. This is not the first time that Tom Cruise has tried to get celebrity friends into Scientology. He knows as well as anybody in Scientology that celebrity is the way to promote your cult. It is the best possible endorsement. I mean, look, uh, brands and companies around the world know this. It's why they use celebrities all the time. And cults know it as well. And there aren't many cults that can attract such big celebrities. And this is why I always try and say this. This is why I focus so much on Tom Cruise. Because without Tom, there is no Scientology. Scientology is still going about. I've had it on good authority. Alex Barnes Ross told me that the other day that they are planning a big come back to the United Kingdom. They're going to do a whole big meeting. They haven't been here in years, so there's going to be protests, hopefully, around that. But they are still going. They are still breaking up families. And at the heart of that, at the centre of that, is the man who just did two huge Hollywood blockbusters in the past year. He's single-handedly keeping Hollywood afloat. And he is the archetypal Scientologist, what you want the Scientologist to be, saving the world of the react reactive mind. And that's why I referenced that point of when Bex made it over to LA. You know, you're looking at a place, you're looking at one of the most famous men in the planet in David Beckham. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't need this kind of treatment. He gets it anyway. He doesn't need Tom Cruise to come and make this Hollywood party, but he did. And there were all the most famous celebrities in the world. They're all there to welcome David. And it just shows to what extent Scientology has its hooks in Hollywood, in fame in general. And But the thing is, they can't get anyone. They try and try. He tried for Seth Rogen, remember that? And Seth was just like, man, this is weird. For some reason, he didn't really want Russell Brand to be part of it. Russell Brand was upset that he, he was like trying to get um, Tom Cruise to, to talk, to open up about Scientology. And that wasn't happening. Um, but, you know, celebrities is, is, is the lifeblood of Scientology. He's not getting anyone new at the moment. Lisa Marie Presley unfortunately passed away. Um, uh, John Travolta is still going, of course. Danny Masterson's in prison. It's not really looking good for them. Now, one of the reasons that David won't have been that attracted to Scientology, well, there are a few reasons, but one of them is that David sees himself as part of the Jewish community, which is a surprise to most people because I'm Jewish myself. We're not usually athletes and David was one hell of an athlete. Um, not just good with his foot and everything. He was fast and physical and, you know, I'm prob I've probably offended loads of people for saying Jews are not usually athletes, but it's it's not uh, it's not what Jewish people are necessarily known for. I'll, I'll say that. I don't mean to offend anybody who is a wonderful athlete. There are, of course, many who are. I'm not and 
So there you go. But he considers himself a member of the Jew Jewish community. Uh, but that is only through one grandparent. So maybe that explains why he still is very athletic. Again, no offense to people who are athletic and Jewish. But David, um, you know, he sometimes wears the Star of David. I don't know if that's just a narcissistic thing. Maybe people never told him that it's for something else. It's just, maybe he just thought, isn't this fantastic? Everybody gets a star of their own name on it, and his happens to be David. Who knows, right? But he grew up around his grandfather, who would, you know, make chicken soup and stuff. I've got a quote here. I am part of the Jewish community. And this is going to be relevant, by the way, about Judith, because of what Tom Cruise has said before. I'm part of the Jewish community, David Beckham says, and I'm proud to say it. My grandfather always made sure we would keep up with certain traditions. We went to bar mitzvahs, and I would wear a kippah, a couple, you know, that on the head. Every Saturday morning, I used to go to see my grandfather. You'd walk in the house to my grandmother preparing chicken soup and matzo balls and latkes. We always kept to those traditions. It was always about the family coming together and spending time together. And so there you go. And that's quite an interesting one, really. It's not something you might have expected. But David even was able to recite uh, the Hamotzi. I don't even know what that is. I should know, probably. But he was able to recite that blessing in Hebrew perfectly. So that probably comes as a surprise to a lot of people. Brooklyn Beckham, his son, has married a Jewish-American actress called Nicola Peltz. So they have that in their sort of uh, culture and everything. Now, there was that great interview that Tom Cruise did, well, that infamous interview with Peter Overton, the Australian. And he was Peter Overton was saying, look, can you be different religions and so on? And Tom Cruise did that intense kind of, yeah, you can be any religion. What, what people don't under, people don't understand this. You can be Jewish and a Scientologist. You can be Christian and Scientologist. You can be Muslim, Scientologist. Right? He said all this stuff. Utter tosh. Complete nonsense. Right? And he knows it. And that's why whenever anyone asks him, hey, how do we find out about Scientology? He just says, just go find out. You just go find out. Just go find out. Go read about it. Right? You can't do that because you can't get to the, the necessary OT levels. You can't get to the information until you've paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe more, to actually start to find out about Scientology. And as soon as you do, you will very quickly come to the understanding that you absolutely cannot have any other kind of faith. You certainly cannot be Jewish and a Scientologist. Now, there are many people who are ethnically uh, or culturally Jewish who are Scientologists, but you cannot hold that belief because the very foundation at the core of Scientology, the whole folklore, is about how wrong those traditional religions are. The whole point was that evil galactic warlords, Xenu, got all the overpopulated people from different planets around his confederacy, threw them over to Earth, which was, what was it called again? Tigi or something mad. Threw them into volcanoes. They presumably all perished. But for some reason, their body thetans, their souls inside these body thetany things, popped out. And then he seemed to take the body thetan souls and put them in movie theatres and show them all the lies in the world, which was basically the Abrahamic religions, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and hypnotise them into believing that stuff. And that's where the major religions come from. So it's insulting, I suppose, to Jewish people, Christian people, Muslim people, or any other religions, the very idea that you might be able to be one of those and a Scientologist at the same time. So the Beckham thing was an absolute failure. And, and apparently, look, by all accounts, the Beckhams have tried several times to reach out and go like, hey, can we make this okay. Tom Cruise is said to, even aside from Scientology, is said to feel uh, a little bit rejected. Like he put, you know, put up, pulled up all the stops when David came out. He really did, throwing these huge parties and things. And that David and Victoria were a little bit like, look, we're here to play football and raise a family. You know, uh, we, we don't need all this like glitz and glamour. This is not really doing much for us. But it's said now that, as I say, the Beckhams tested the waters a while ago to see if they could make amends, but Tom Cruise ignored them because he has no intention of being friends again. <laughs> He's only got one room for one David in his life, and it's not David Beckham now, it's David Miscavige, of course, his bestie and the leader of Scientology. It's just such a bizarre thing, but it also speaks to the essence of Scientology in the heart of Tom Cruise right now, because that is what you do when somebody 
doesn't want to join up with you, if they, who knows what David might have said, maybe he laughed and said, I don't want to be in your kooky whatever. Um, this, he, he becomes quite possibly a suppressive person, David Beckham. And if David Beckham was rude in any way, or if he just wasn't interested at all in what Tom Cruise had to say, then he's a suppressive person and that is why Tom Cruise is ignoring him because there's no other real explanation. It's a bit weird for a, a grown man who's 61 now to be ignoring somebody else who, who's only been, as, as far as we know, quite nice to him, except that he is now a suppressive person. Get some questions and thoughts in because I always love to hear what you guys have to say about these kinds of things, um, about the pressure that Beckham felt to join Scientology and how hurt Tom Cruise was. Um, I'm just seeing if there's more I wanted to put in there. No, I don't think there necessarily is, uh, except to reiterate that members are of Scientology are not allowed to engage in any other similar mental therapies or procedures, religious or otherwise. So anything that's close to... Uh, Scientology, particularly the monotheistic religion. So Beckham, as a member of the Jewish community, or whether he has Christian beliefs, whatever, would not really be allowed to be a fully-fledged member of Scientology. 